little shindig barbecue I'm having later. I'm turning 21 plus one, 22 grandma, I know. Anyway, I'm really glad you all loved episode two of I'm Laura. Can't wait to answer some of the questions you sent in, but before I do that, I want to tell you about a little giveaway we're doing with Network A and my main sponsor, Billabong Women's. My favourite questions that you all ask are going to go into a draw to win one of three Billabong Women's gift cards. So, get asking. Now to this week's questions. Oreos and soy milk, cool name by the way, wrote in, I don't know much about surfing, so who was at fault when Sally dropped in on Laura and how does that affect the point? You mean when Sally crashed out of Laura? <laughs> no, but that one hurt really. But in that situation, the judges deemed that Sally got the interference and that means that she loses half of her two scoring waves. So you try not to do that in a heat, but that happens a lot at Margaret River just because it's a peak wave. But it was entertaining. Creative Sign Works wrote in, knowing that West Oz is really sharky, when serving Margaret River, how does that shark factor play in your mind? I personally really try not to think about sharks and I've never actually seen a shark so just try to keep it in the back of my mind and just surf with people and just try not think about it. Hayley D wrote in, what's your favourite workout routine? My favourite workout, the best workout for surfing is surfing but I do like to stay fit and try to work off all the yummy treats I eat. <laughs> so. I actually have a friend that I, I just started training with. We do some boot camp and some running and um, just some little light weights and stuff like that. So just keeping active and just getting out of the open, anything like that, I love to do. Harry Pageman asks, what other sport do you enjoy watching or partaking in? Um, does online shoe shopping count? <laughs> if so, that's my favorite sport. But other than that, I love, <laughs> I love the football, honestly. I'm a footy girl, so. I love watching the football in Australia and also playing um, football on the beach or wherever we go in the world. Casper G wrote in, how did it all work while you were going to school and working towards being a pro surfer? Well, my school was actually a sports high school here in Narrabeen and so one of my classes was actually surfing so that helped but besides that I was a pretty enthusiastic little thing and the teachers loved me. <laughs> so I always got little gold stickers and stuff like that, but uh, my school was very supportive and I wasn't there a lot. I was always travelling, but don't miss it. <laughs> I love what I do now. <laughs> it's Ecstatic Edward wrote in, how do you make sure to stay positive going into each surf competition? For me, I stay, the mo I stay positive just by surrounding myself with just good people and just having a lot of fun on the road. I mean, the more fun I'm having, the less I'm sort of freaking myself out and overthinking everything. So, yeah, just sort of let the good times roll. Well, I gotta love you and leave you. All my friends are coming over. <laughs> but don't forget to write in more questions because you could win a $200 gift voucher. And I'll see you guys next week. Ciao.